Cool. Okay. I hope everyone's hanging in there. Let's, um, let's keep going. So, I will reset the clock. All right. Some subtle twists here too. Maybe the one thing that this pose has as in its favor is at least it's, you know, it's got that very kind of strong or stronger silhouette ideas. Okay, iliac crest is going to be about there. Spine. Then we're coming, so we've got this twist going on, right? This leg coming down this way to the knee about here. Coming down. Uh, I'm drawing off the bottom of the camera there. Sorry, you can't see my foot. Yeah. There we go. Um, okay. And then this foot coming down like so. We have a box here that he's leaning against. Let's get that in. That's sitting about here. About here is where the corner of the box is. Not that it really matters. And once again, as the viewer, you know, where's our, where is our horizon line? It's approximately at his knee, the, um, this knee here. So once again, something to keep in mind. So this arm coming, coming down in this direction. Elbow is going to be about here. And then this arm coming forward, doing that. And we can just get, you can only really see the top of his head there. Something like that. Ear is about here. Eye line is about there, so he's really kind of tilting his head down in this direction. Scapula sitting about here. Deltoid is sitting in about there. Actually, let's not get thrown off here. Let's um, see. Latissimus is about here. Pectoral muscle is sitting about there. Coming down, then you can kind of get a sense, okay, the rib cage is Sitting in this area here. Okay. Wrist is about here. Just gonna tweak this stuff as we go, but for now, this will get us in the ballpark. Gee, this is a little low because this hand is actually about here. Something like that. All right, for now. Way. 
into the deltoid sitting there. And you can kind of get a sense of the scapula sitting in here. Just address your quest, your what you're discussing here about your easel. You say I really have got to move to easel. Drawing on plain surface makes all my drawings too elongated. Um, here would be my at least just my two cents on that. And obviously everyone has their own preference and and all all, all of that. And what you know ultimately whatever you. Obviously goes without saying, whatever you're most comfortable with, absolutely do. The one thing I would just keep in mind when making a transition like that, or if that's something you decide to do, is when you're drawing on an easel, um, your, uh, your shoulder is under constant tension because obviously you're, you're having to hold your pencil up like this. Right, especially if you're working on an easel so that's horizontal. So your shoulder's under constant tension and consequently you're gonna, f at least in my experience, it tends to prohibit drawing in a very loose manner. The, w the one advantage I have and the reason that I sit the way I do is not not for any kind of technical reason for the camera or anything like that. It's because when I'm like this, my arm, you can't really see the, the full length of my arm, but my arm is completely relaxed. And so I can move my arm with a looseness that um, doesn't, it doesn't restrict me in any way, right? There's never a time where my shoulder is under any tension because obviously my arm is just hanging down. And that allows me the ability to really draw from my shoulder and my elbow um, that I've discussed before. You know, there's almost very little wrist movement in what I'm doing. Um, and I do notice when people draw at easels, and I've, you know, I've done many live um, classes where I notice, generally speaking, people drawing at the easel, because their arm is up here, there's tension on the shoulder, there, t there tends to be a stiffness in the drawing. So not saying that, you know, mileage will vary depending on who you are or whatever, but it's something to keep in mind. Um, now, if you're drawing from drawing, if you're just drawing literally on a flat table, absolutely 100% your drawing's gonna get elongated because of the perspective issues. But there's nothing to say you can't have your drawing board resting on your lap, kind of leaning against the table, so you've still got that drawing roughly pointing straight at you. I unfortunately have that, some of that issue here because this angle is not ideal that I'm drawing at because otherwise my head was constantly being ahead of the camera. So. I do have to draw it at an odd angle, more or less. But w when I'm not drawing for camera, I will rest the board on my, on my legs, lean the board against the table. It's pretty much straight on, but I've still got the advantage of the arm being relaxed. All right, so just something, something to keep in mind, that if you do decide to go to an easel and draw horizontally, just be mindful of, um, where the tension is um, in your body or in your arm uh, as you're drawing and, and just try and, if, it, if it's giving you any issues, try, try and mitigate that um, some other way. But that's just just my, my two cents on, on that because I do think that there's great advantages to having your arm relaxed and 
and not, you know, um, not putting that tension on the shoulder. So anyway, for what it's worth. Doug says, I was drawing on it on the easel for the first couple of months of doing these streams, which said to sit instead changed my life, hopefully my drawing for the better. Um, <clears throat> I remember that, Doug. I actually remember when, when we had that conversation all those streams ago. I'm glad, I'm really glad to hear that it, it's working out for you. Um, I, I, I think, it, I, just personally, I do think it's the way to go. Um, but at the same time, look, it, there's no, there's no rule. You can ultimately, whatever makes you comfortable. But I, I can't draw on an easel, to be honest. Like I, I'll paint on an easel. Um, <clears throat> but, he, you know, somehow, you, you know, it's a slightly different kind of thing that we're doing when we're painting and... But even then, you know, sometimes I'll paint, um, sitting down. I don't always have to be standing for painting. But anyway, something just to, uh, yeah, keep in mind. <coughs> yeah, you're welcome, Neil. I hope, I hope it helps. Look, try it, you know, like absolutely nothing wrong with trying it, but be, but if you, if you do decide to try it, yeah, just, just, just keep that in mind. Um, that's why in a lot of figure drawing classes, you'll see people sitting at those horses, right? I think they're called what, drawing horse or whatever. Um, and people are sitting there on the, on the bench and they're leaning the, the board kind of in front of them at an angle, but they're still sitting. It's to allow the arm to have that relaxation. All right, so. We've got a little bit of a ponytail sitting in here. And we'll just suggest his hair tied back there. Something like that. Okay, so I think we can we can move on to a little bit of tie down on this drawing. So let's see here. All right, so we got the, the pit of the arm about here. Um, got the tricep coming this way. Something like that. And the tricep is actually sitting in there. Okay. Alrighty. Now let's see the let's see the latissimus kind of coming down this way. Something like that. So we've got the pectoral sitting in here, rib cage kind of coming down this way, and then almost a straight 
or a direction change here at kind of about the hip. Something like that. Trapezius. We've got a lot of kind of anatomical ideas here that we can make a judgment call on a little bit about how much of that we want to express in the drawing. Deltoid. And coming down with triceps in here. Brachial radius coming down to the wrist in here. Okay, let's find this little compression point here in the scapula. Coming down this way, something like that. Okay. Something like that. Okay. Oh, let me not forget this arm. Something like so. stretch to that front of the leg there. And we have hamstrings coming. All right, so now let's just cut them off. Details here. So this leg is kind of coming from this direction. I've got that mass sitting in there, compression. Something like that. actually think this leg is just a little bit long so I'll correct that now so it's coming this way and actually the heel is sitting about here
half. And some of the extensors. Something like that. All right, let's just give just a half a minute to this foot here and let's see if we can just at least help describe form just a little bit. of his feet here. And something like that. That'll do it, I think. All right. That was a fun pose. Um, yeah, yeah, pleased enough with that one.